So I came across this trailer for Marvel's new series WandaVision about a couple weeks ago. It's a really fun looking effect where it starts off as black and white and it slowly transitions the whole scene into color. I'm going to try to recreate something similar for you guys so you can easily try it out for yourself. And if you want to see more of these type of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials on the channel, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button. But also leave me a comment and let me know what type of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials you guys want to see on this channel. Now before we begin this tutorial, I just want to quickly shout out Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. So many of you guys already know that I use Storyblocks to kind of dress up my videos and help spice it up a bit. So throughout this video, you'll be seeing different types of animation, some pop-up ones, and a bunch of overlays, which are all from Storyblocks.com. So you have the ability to download as much of these assets as you want with their unlimited all-access plan. You can download, try them out, and if it doesn't work out for you, just download some more and keep plugging them in until you find the right one that fits your video. They have affordable subscription plans available which will let you access their entire library which is royalty free. So when you get the chance, check them out, see if there are any assets on there that could work for your videos. I'll make sure to leave a link to their website in the description down below. So I shot the sequence in three different shots and angles. I want to keep this thing simple and easy to edit in post, I filmed everything on a tripod. If you end up having someone else hold the camera for you while you shoot the scene, then it'll be a little bit harder to edit in post since you'll have to keyframe it and follow the movement. So I'll definitely keep it easy for you guys in this tutorial and do it on a tripod. So the first shot is a wide shot of me just looking at my arms and my body seeing the transformation occur. So the next shot I got my arm in, just looking at it as it transitions and the last shot is just one on my face. You don't have to shoot the exact same scenes as me, you can definitely change it up. But just make sure to shoot it on a tripod if you want to keep things easier for you in post. Place all three clips on the project timeline in the order that you want it to show up. Then place a custom generator on top of all three clips. Stretch it out so that it fits all three clips. Change the crop right settings to about 1600. Then place another custom generator on top of all three clips. Change the crop left settings to 1600 for that one as well. Starting with the bottom generator, Find a spot on your timeline where you want to start stretching it out. Then place a keyframe under crop right settings. Without moving the skimming bar, do the exact same for the top generator by placing a keyframe under crop left settings. Now move over to the part where you want the bars to be fully out of the shot. Change the crop right settings all the way to the right until it is maxed out. Then do the same for the other generator until it is maxed out as well. Copy and paste a copy of each clip underneath each one. Now we're going to color grade the footage to make it look old. I'm going to keep it simple in this tutorial and just use the aged film effect. Look for that under the effects tab and then place it on top of your very first clip. Play around with settings such as jitter amount, scratches, grain, and also Change color adjust all the way to zero to turn it black and white. Copy and paste those settings to the other two clips you have. I'm going to add some soft dust overlay from Storyblocks to add more depth to the video. Trim it to match the length of the other clips. Then change the blend mode to screen and then opacity to about 75% so that it's not too distracting. Now we want to color grade the bottom clips. We're going to color grade this to how we want the end look to be. So add a LUT or change the look by using the color grading tools that Final Cut offers. I won't go too in depth with color grading in this video, just adjust the colors until you're happy with how it looks. You can press V on the top clips to temporarily disable them so that you can see the bottom clips. 
Just remember to enable them again by pressing V afterwards. Copy the settings from that clip and then paste them to the other two as well. And if you haven't yet, enable the top clips again. Now we're going to start the fade in. Look for the graduated mask tool in the effects tab and drag it on top of the first clip. Drag the middle circle all the way to the bottom until it is at a frame. Place a keyframe under target and center. Now go to the end of that clip and drag the circle where you want the fade to end for that specific clip. Drag the graduated mask again to the bottom second clip and place it around the part where you want it to start. And again, place a keyframe under target and center. Then move to the end of that clip, drag the circle to the part where you want it to end for that particular scene. And one last time for the last clip. Add the graduated mask, drag the circle to the bottom, place the keyframes under target and center, then move to the end of the clip and adjust the circle all the way to the top to fully reveal the bottom clip. I'm going to take the end portion of the middle clip as well and add it to the end of the video just to kind of finish off the sequence. I'm also going to fade out the dust overlay that we added earlier on. You can also add the handheld effect to all of your clips just to make it look like it wasn't filmed handheld. Just make sure to change the distance settings to zero so that it doesn't mess up the effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button if you really enjoyed this one. Also, don't forget to check out storybox.com and browse their massive library of assets that could possibly work for the type of videos that you guys are doing. See you guys in the next video. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time, pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just to go get her on a car quest. Hey.